All right, so the first thing we did was loosen this bolt on this spherical bearing here. It is a mini, it is a tiny little Torx. Or if you only have wrenches, it's a little eight millimeter. Loosen it up, pull that bolt out. And this lock nut was already pretty loose. So I'm just gonna spin that up out of the way. Um, it threads into this piece here. So I'm actually gonna heat this up a little bit and make sure it's nice and easy to turn. And holding the thread gently with needle nose pliers, I'm going to try to spin this. I'm holding onto these threads while spinning this tighter. So if you see, this wants to spin a little bit. So that's why we need the needle nose pliers. I've spun this part around as many times as I could. So the thread went deeper into this guy. Uh, so now that hole will be a little bit higher and start to, it'll start to lower that pedal height. Now that the eyelets appear, the pedal will be out here a little bit more. And as you can see, it's already starting to form a more, a more flat angle. We also want to loosen and adjust these two uh, to set the resting angle of the pedal. As I loosen this, this pedal should rest that much lower. So now you can see through that spherical bearing hole, the brake lever is now lined up. So that's about as far as an adjustment as we'll get out of this. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to flip this peg over. So instead of mounting down here, uh, it'll flip the mount and it'll, uh, the peg will actually sit up here and then that will pretty much take care of that. Make it nice and flat so you're not stepping up to get on that pedal. Now we're gonna tighten everything back up. See how it feels. All right, that already feels better, but I am gonna go ahead and flip these peg, uh, flip these peg mounts around. If you look at the bottom here, there's just a pin that goes through, and there's this little like retaining clip on the bottom. Whoa, let me go. So there's this pin that goes through, there's a little clip on the bottom. And this thing 
just pops off pretty easily. Then I'm just gonna wiggle the peg and just put some pressure on the uh, pin. And it's gonna keep sliding up here. Careful for the spring in here. Probably is gonna shoot out at any second. We are just left with this guy. So if you see how this thing is shaped, we're just gonna flip this around and then the mount point will be at the higher end of this bracket. So that'll raise the peg, I don't know, quarter inch, half an inch if we're lucky. Got a T. 45 socket, or 45 Torx going on to the socket wrench. that around. All right, well my camera just died, so we're switching over. So flip this over, tighten these two bolts back up. Then hopefully you still have your spring and your pin, and you got your peg still around. So this thing is gonna rock in that same direction, like so. You wanna make sure that you don't, huh? It's pretty foolproof. You can't install it upside down. Otherwise you'll notice what's going on. So anyway, just reinstall right side up. So basically, the spring is going to sit like that. That loop is going to go closer to the frame. And then this thing is just going to sit on the top of the peg like that. So here's the one thing to remember. This pin will only go in one direction. So when you remove it this direction, you have to reinsert it the same orientation after you flip it. So this is gonna have to go up from the bottom. spring in place and we just got to reinsert that washer Washer is back in there, and peg is working. All right, now repeat on the other side. All right, thanks for watching.